What are you so polite about? For the same reason you're not. It's the way I was brought up. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, man, dog. That was a crazy line. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into 12 Angry Men. This is something that I'm really excited for because I just love older films. I think older films have a lot to offer, and I love primarily the pioneerism. Uh, again, I don't even know if that word is like even real but i just made it up myself <laughs> the pioneerism that i love within old films and just the level of respect that i think just any student or just anybody who's observing them who you know is within filmmaking or just wants to study art should just have for pieces like that because you know at, at a time you know with any student um there's this thing that you know with older films it just you know, there's there's an obvious disconnect because it's you know, throughout generations. But what I love about older films, especially good older films, is not only do they disprove that point because they tend to stand the test of times, um, but you can really learn a lot with how a certain director, how um, certain things were processed back then and ask yourself why they were, you know, maybe it was because of limitations, meaning they had to really uh, go a little bit further within themselves to kind of stretch out a story or take a different narrative path, etc, etc. So those are things that I hope to, you know, ask and look at and, you know, really give um, proper respects to films such as these, because I know they hold a great um, a great hole within the community of film but also just within art and myself personally it's just for like personal reasons this is how i look at art this is how i look at new bodies of art so i can build on top of mine so that's a little that's a little bit on how my um breakdowns within my mental psyche kind of work a little bit in terms of how i process and digest films i know we got henry fonda in this who was uh yeah the cold-blooded murderer um and, and uh what film was that i forgot I forgot which film was the Western film, but he was ice cold in that, loved his performance. So I'm excited to kind of see what his performance has to entail on this one. Uh, I'm not too sure about the story behind this as well. So I'm going into this one a little bit blind. Uh, it's kind of similar to like a lot of the other films as well too. So I'm excited to kind of just tackle and see what exactly that I'm going to be presented here. But like always guys, if you want to be able to support your boy, the best way to do it is through Patreon. We got like early access full lens if you want to see and hear all that I have to say about a certain film or a TV show as well as giveaways and you know polls and all that good stuff so we have a lot going on over there if you want to check it out again it's the best way to support me if you would like to but I understand that everybody is able to do the patreon if you want to still support your boy you can still leave a like comment and subscribe and I'm gonna double down and say please take five seconds to you know hit that like button it really does help out the channel and YouTube is like mm, yes notice <laughs> I don't know how that works, but like apparently it does. So if you can spare at least like five seconds to like it, you the man. Um, uh, to anybody who wants to just, you know, because I understand not a lot of people who on YouTube have like an account to like or do all the things that I just said. It's perfectly fine. You can still support me by just having a good time, you know, opening up your laptop. Maybe you came back from a long day's worth of work. Get your popcorn and snacks because we're about to hop right into 12 angry men again guys if you want to be able to watch and hear everything that i got to say about this film check out the full length below in the patreon you guys know the drill with that that's cool that's really cool okay that was really cool there was a lot of misdirections on who we're following here i'm not sure if it's because you know it's 12 angry men so we're not sure on who exactly we're following here but that was a lot of cool misdirection there the alternate jurors are excused <coughs> the jury will now retire all right it seems that someone's life is in their hands all right uh if i'm getting that correctly this person this kid this whoever is on trial like they are they either have a life or death sins it's a kid that was good that was really good loved how that 
frame lingered on. Almost felt like it was like the last time we we're gonna see him, yeah? Like, I, again, guys, like, this may not seem cool to y'all. This is really cool to me. Again, it's something that I take notice on. But I just, again, love that the shot did not break during that entire thing. It did not break. It kind of kept that continuation. Like, small things like that, I just really love. Again, it's probably because they have limitations on film. Hence why they can't do a lot of, you know, cuts. But that's something that I really enjoy noticing. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to do it, but I'm definitely getting first impressions <laughs> on certain people. I'm definitely getting first impressions. Not enough to where I can, you know, outright say what I'm thinking, but enough to where I can just keep silent in my head. Something where a lot of you guys probably need to learn. <laughs> Got him. I'm just joking, y'all. I'm not joking. I'm very serious. It's a good trait to have. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom. Hey, new? I didn't get a chance to see a paper this morning. Hmm? I was only wondering how the market closed. You got a seat on the exchange? This is so this is so good. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on right now that I'm probably, you know, I probably already said it in numerous ways already, but there's there's a lot of gold happening here in this scene. Because I don't think it's that to have broken. <laughs> that's, that's extremely well done. Oh, listen, you analyze the figures, you'll see that was all. I'm telling you, they let those kids run wild up there. Well, maybe it serves them right. You know what I mean? Is, is everyone here? The hell is this guy talking about? I could tell this guy right now is just, he's racist. <laughs> I don't know. Dog, see, I... <laughs> I had enough evidence in my head that I concluded that that dude, that old fart right there, he's giving off very racist energy. I don't even know why, man. I just don't like it. I've seen, I've, I've felt that energy before. Like, I, I know what that is. <laughs> just grumpy and old and miserable. <laughs> Have a first degree murder charge here, and if we vote the accused guilty, chair. Um, that's mandatory. I think we know that. Let's yeah, let's see who's where. I don't know. Do you guys know that? <laughs> I think the theme here maybe is like how each one of these guys probably value a life, you know, because that's ultimately the ultimatum here, you know? There were 11 votes for guilty. It's not easy to raise my hand and send a boy off to die without talking about it first. Well, well I know the character I relate to. <laughs> I definitely relate to his character. Born in a slum. Mother dead since he was nine. He lived for a year and a half in an orphanage when his, his father was serving a jail term for forgery. I'm incredibly grateful that the story is unfolding along with the, the pacing of the film. Get on the, head by somebody once the exposition isn't at the beginning, it's throughout the film. That's really nice. <laughs> Listen, I've lived among them all my life. You can't believe a word they say. Dude, this guy's so racist, bro. This guy is so racist. And this is the... And this is the problem, bro. That's in the Constitution. Oh, well, sure, I know that. Uh, what I meant was, is, well, I, I just think he's guilty. I mean, somebody saw him do it. Okay. Uh... It's really interesting hearing people's thoughts on this. What number do you guys place yourself with? You know, what character out of all these do you guys see yourself as? There's no right or wrong answer, by the way. Except you're the racist guy. <laughs> Please tell me if you're the racist guy. <laughs> movies during the time of the killing and yet one hour later he couldn't remember the names of the films he saw or who played in them. god this is also me though this is also me that's also me those are both in my brain they're very <laughs> very matter of fact james and then the i don't know the moral morally in-depth james it's interesting you don't believe the boy's story how come you believe the woman's she's one of them too isn't she you're pretty smart. Woo! Got him. Got him. Yikes, bruh. Got him in his own play. I was just about to say, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, I made a man out of 16. We had it for me in the jaw. I haven't seen him for two years. Bro. Work your heart out. You are, first and foremost, extremely emotionally attached to this case, but also, dude, 
I think you need to undress some things, man. <laughs> I think you need to undress some things, bro. You are, you are reflecting. <laughs> this case is helping you reflect, bro. Damn. You can still smell it on me. Now listen, Sonny. Come on now, there's nothing personal oh, about no, there this. Was something oh, personal. come on, fella, he didn't mean you. Let's not be so sensitive. This is sensitive. I'm so happy of the mature and the level of approach that is happening here. I feel like, weirdly, um, you wouldn't see this on the big screen. This portrayal of honest authenticity of people and all forms of humanity. You wouldn't really see it this raw nowadays. I think that's a commentary for another video that I'll get on, but I'm very appreciative. Because yeah. it just goes to show you that they respect what they were trying to create here. And they respect you for watching. You're not a dumb audience member. Arrested. He also claims that the two detectives arrested him and threw him down a half a flight of stairs. Now what happened to the switch knife? He claims that it fell through a hole in his pocket. Mm. See, the, the thing is, eh, like, we, I, I don't know if he's guilty or not. I think that's the thing here. Like, we don't know if he's guilty or not. I think it's more so the observation of the processing of how other humans get to that conclusion. Because it is dependent on their, <laughs> their decision whether or not he lives. And that's how justice should be. And that somebody else stabbed his father with a similar knife, it's just possible. Take a look at this knife. I don't know, it may sound corny, but like, the fact that they're even having a process like this, I don't know. That's pretty justice-like. Woo! Oh, he got the same John. Oh, man. All right, let's do it the hard way. Yeah, that sounds fair. Everyone agreed? Anyone doesn't agree? I love when uh, something I noticed too about older films is that they use music when they really feel like they need to use music. It's not just fruitlessly done. <laughs> and then when they don't use music, it's very impactful. You hear everyone's words. You hear the reasoning. You can feel the flow of the film with that. What made you change your vote? Jeez, he man. didn't change his vote. I did. Oh, fine. I know it. Would you like me to tell you why? Ooh, love that camera angle. Love that. Oh, that was perfect. That was good. I love that it had that camera right there. I told you I work in an agency. Mm -hmm. well, you know, there's some pretty strange people working there. Well, they're not strange, really. I guess it's just that they have peculiar ways of expressing themselves. Weird, weird thing. Um... I wonder, because he works in an agency, like, as advertising, it's, like, affecting his judgment. And that could lead to, like, a whole other conversation about how your occupation could really affect your decisions of life. That's a whole video in itself that I can make as well, too. But, like, I'm, I think I'm seeing it with this guy. And it's a very dangerous thing, by the way. <laughs> Last drinks, jokes, tricks. You know? Yeah. Hit them where they live. That's my motto. See? He's... Wow, that's crazy. He's saying the same thing that I was just talking about. How, like, everyone's occupation is in some way informing their judgment. And there's goods and bads to that. What difference does it make if you get it here at the ball game? No difference, Bob. No difference at all. Yeah, he doesn't care. Like, like he just doesn't care. You you can't really convince that guy. <laughs> There's no convincing him. Has anybody here any idea how long it would take an L? Are you for real, man? Are you serious, guys? This isn't a game. Yeah. Did you see? I'm so happy that he did that, bro. I'm so happy he did that. <laughs> like, I can't believe that. This isn't a game. No, no. The, the, the crazy part is people think like that. Like, there's people out there like that. Let's take two pieces of testimony and try to put them together. First, the old man in the apartment downstairs. He says he heard... Man, this guy should have been this dude's... 
defense attorney, man. <laughs> like, what? Would have had to hear the boy make this statement with the yell roaring past his nose. It's not possible he could have heard it. That's, That's very true. Of course he heard it. That's very true. Even the dude, even the statistical dude's like, heard something he's so even he's like, oh, damn, I did not think of that. That was a very good point. Who has been nothing all his life. Who has never had recognition for his name in the newspapers. Nobody knows him. Wow, he's saying that he's doing it for attention. This is the only attention he's ever gotten. To be quoted just once, very important to him. It would be so hard for him to recede into the background. I'm extremely floored by how good this film is, y'all. What is happening? Like, this is a... I was expecting it to be good, but, like, this is... This is really good. Thing <laughs> like that so the whole neighborhood could hear him? I don't think so. He's much too bright for that. Bright? He's a common, ignorant slob. He don't even speak good English. Oh, bro, get him out, man. Bro, get him out of here, man. Like, he's such a piece of trash, bro. State of panic, he may not have heard the scream. Perhaps it wasn't very loud. Two, if he did hear it, he may not have connected it with his own act. Remember, he lived in a neighborhood where a scream... <laughs> I... This dude's Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I was like, why does he sound so, so interesting? <laughs> he's sitting here, you're pulling stories out of thin air, you know? Boy, a guy like this, if he's uh, uh, sitting ringside at the Dempsey football fight, he'd be trying to tell you that, uh, look. Yeah, <laughs> this dude can't even. <laughs> that was freaking great. That was good. That was really good. And so to be important, right? I, th I think he tried to do what everyone else tried to do, and he was like, I can't do this. <laughs> the killing took place. The old man's apartment was directly beneath and exactly the same. Here are the L tracks, the bedroom, living room, kitchen, bathroom. Here's the hall. Here are the stairs. I love how the just, this is also an applaud to information and how information can be given throughout a film. It's just such a brilliant organic flow of information that builds with just how you feel the about the, the actual the story as well. 43. Honestly, this film is more so commendable for its pacing. Look, this is absolutely insane. What are you wasting everybody's time in here for? Look, according to you, it'll only take 15 seconds. Now we can... uh, I'm seeing people's faces. I'm seeing people's faces start to, like, you know, really change. The advertising guy is, like, really looking at it now. I think it's because he saw the display visually. You all know he's guilty. He's got to burn. You're letting him slip through our fingers. Slip through our fingers? Are you his executioner? I'm one of them. Jesus, bro. This guy is wild, man. What is going on? This dude's weak. That's what it looks like. This dude looks like he's weak. You want to see this boy die because you personally want it, not because of the facts. You're a sadist. <laughs> ah, got him. Oh, man. This, that's, yeah, bro. That's, that's embarrassing, man. Big pardon. What are you so polite about? For the same reason you're not. It's the way it was brought up. Woo. Oh, my God. Oh, man, dog. That was a crazy line. Give it a much thought, but let's throw it out on the stoop and see if the cat licks it up. The cat licks it up? Yeah. It's the boy. <laughs> I, ne I never heard that, bro. This dude is... So he's such... <laughs> hmm. Guys, this is a very incredible film. <laughs> what the hell's happening, y'all? <laughs> this is... <laughs> I was, like, I was, again, I was prepared for a good film. I just... Yo, like, this is really good. <laughs> I could make a lot of video essays about this level of good. Stay tuned for those, by the way. Loud mouth. I mean, the dude should just, like, say he's not guilty so he can go to his game. Since he wants to go so badly. You should just go. <laughs> I don't know if you still want to, though. It looks like it's storming, though, so it's up to you. That's right, man. And um, <laughs> we have this kid slattery. Guys, this acting is really good. 
it's yo, what the hell? This is extremely good acting. Oh my god. Everything. I mean, anyone in his right mind would grow a stack. Hmm? You're just trying to bait me. He did an excellent job. <laughs> oh man. Yo, oh dog. Yo. <laughs> The embarrassment is just crazy. You don't fully understand the term reasonable doubt. What do you mean, I don't understand? I love the rain being a element added on to what's already here, what we're already working with. It just gives it an, another form of texture. It's a very inexpensive second feature with uh, unknown. And you weren't under an emotional stress, were you? Woo! No. I will personally say I think that example is a little far out, but you got Ben Shapiro sweating, <laughs> and he say he doesn't sweat. <laughs> Anyone who's ever used the switch nut wouldn't handle it any other way. Are you sure? I'm sure. Wow. That's why he's handy with a knife. Mm -hmm. You think he could have made? The Damn, yo, this is crazy. This, <laughs> this is really informative. I love that I'm learning more and more and more about the case. And it's helping me base my judgment, which I hope that you guys realize I haven't made yet. Yakety yakking back and forth. It's getting us nowhere. So I guess I'll have to break it up. I changed my vote to not guilty. You what? You no, I knew he was, man. See, that's such a wild card, bro. That's such a wild card. <laughs> he just wants to go. He just wants to leave. And if you think he is guilty, then vote that way. Or don't you have the guts to do what you think is right? Woo! Oh my god, dude. I love these lines, man. You know how these people lie? It's born in them. I mean, what the heck? I don't have to tell you. They don't know what the truth is. And let me tell you, they don't... This dude is sad. This dude is old, sad, and is going to die alone. Not the actor, by the way. But people like him. Where are you going? Human life don't mean as much to them as it does to us. Look, Bro. See, and that's what's happening. People are just trying to distance themselves away from this guy. It's so cowardly, man, and just sad. It's just so sad. Well, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. This is You're beautiful. making a big mistake, you people. This kid is a liar. I know it. I know all about them. This is beautiful right here. Wow. He's the only angry man left. Listen to me. Uh, we're, we're, this kid on trial here, he's, he's tired. Oh, this puts this film on another level. They didn't even have to do this, but damn, this made it a art museum piece right here. This could be in a museum right here, man. Wow. I have. Now sit down and don't open your mouth again. Whew. See what happens when you're like that? The very thing that you cherish so much is useless. Your freedom of speech is useless to others because they just don't want to be near you. That was beautiful, man. Wow. Very valuable in our system. No jury can declare a man guilty unless it's sure. Wow. Isn't that crazy for today? <laughs> Damn, what a... I would love this... I would love this film to be reenacted in today's society with like the involvement of the internet and all that. I don't know how, but I think it would be such a great challenge. The woman who testified that she saw the killing had those same marks on the sides of her nose. Damn, good dude. Good freaking look, bro. And I love how every shot with him is an extreme close-up of like just I don't know like new information or deep realization it's interesting and I love how all his decisions are based on how he looks at people that's really interesting how do you know what kind of glasses you wore maybe there were sunglasses maybe she was far-sighted what do you know about it I only know the woman's eyesight is in question now yeah that's the important part the, the the evidence is now in question because of that. Like, come on, man. You think he's guilty? 
I think he's guilty. Wow. Oh, he had to sit down, bro. Oh, man, he had an ego death. <laughs> he is. I forgot he existed. Oh, my God. Wow. I don't care whether I'm alone or not. It's my right. It's your right. Yo. Yo, I... Ah, man, this, this film needs to be played today. It needs to be in theaters all over the place now. <laughs> Oh, this business about the knife. What, because we found another one exactly like it? The old man saw him right there on the stairs. He is so attached to it in the weirdest way, man. Like, what? Like he's attached to it because I feel like he sees himself in it in some way. Like, it's so... It, it It's oozing out of him. Like, just look at this. This is great acting, man. You have to understand your character to really do that. He probably understands this character... At such a level, I can't even comprehend. Hence the brilliant performance. Rotten kids, you work your life out. This is a brilliant thing. I heard George Washington used to do this, hence why he was like a great leader, they would say. He would just let people talk. <laughs> he, would, he just wouldn't say anything. He would just let people just talk. I think that's what's happening here. Yeah, he finally said it. Wow, this film was excellent, y'all. Oh my goodness. And just like that, it's like, it's over. We won't know for sure whether or not if this person is truly guilty or not guilty. We can only just be sure that we gave it our all in the discussion, you know? This was excellent. I'm floored by this. This is like, this, this is a film that is... Very close to my heart. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's a lot to study here. So much to study. All within a room, too. Again, so many things I'm learning. This took place all within one place. Like, that is so incredible. Damn. Kudos, man. That is some brilliant filmmaking. That's cool. That's so cool, man. <laughs> it's great. It's great. And I want you guys to know this isn't like a tell of heroism or really anything like that. It's just a tell of humanity. You know, this is a very human thing that happened. Talking, discussing, <laughs> and then coming to a conclusion. Dude, epic. Guys, and that is the end to 12 Angry Men. All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up 12 Angry Men. This was a brilliant, brilliant film that I'm happy to have been able to watch because there's just so much to learn from this. You know, this is this is a film where you it, it's it's just so difficult to not take anything away from it because it was so sophisticatedly made and handled and what I love about this is that it doesn't even feel like a it doesn't even feel like a movie. It's more so like a study or an observation that's told through an artistic lens rather. It it's it's a very challenging film and I say that because not only for me, but I'm sure for you guys and everyone else out there. I mean, we're all different people, but I'm sure in some way shape or form you could probably relate to one of these characters. And it challenges your way of looking at things. And it's especially when it comes down to understanding the, understanding the gravity of the decision that you're about to make. And I think that's what's important. Because for me personally, you know, now I coming to my conclusion, I haven't given y'all my answer. But yeah, I would say not guilty. Um, but, you know, starting off, I, I, I don't, I don't. We, we don't we don't come to that conclusion obviously we don't know much about the actual case itself until the story unfolds along with the unfolding of everybody else's personas and how they unfold the story as well too and how we look at that and how we look at their actions and their reasonings to why they do that i think that's really fascinating because it's it's there, there's a lot of things that can 
get in the way um, in a form of judgment. And that's just always going to happen. There's like, that's that's a fact in a way where it's like, yes, we would love to always look at the facts, but in more than most cases, there's always an element where it's like, OK, well, we have to look at that. We have to look at this. Hence why this saying is uh, not guilty until proven. It. You know, like it's it's just a very important thing because there has to be an overwhelming of evidence. And this is sometimes aided people and sometimes worked against people and it's flawed because human conditioning is very flawed i mean we will never be able to really gather up a um a resource that gets a a hundred percent we're not we're not able to minority report this is basically what i'm saying um but what we can do is give proper understanding to a decision that has to be made and efforts to getting to that decision. And in order to do that, you have to understand what you're deciding, which is in this case, somebody's life. And it's clear that a lot of people didn't understand that until the guy who, you know, literally, you know, swayed at the entire room knew from the very beginning. He always knew that. He went in there knowing that. He said it even previously, he went to several trials beforehand because he felt some type of way about this and he understands that this person this kid who's under trial right now with his decision could die from that and i think that is so important you know when dealing with things like that it's something that i personally wish that people understood more of now and it's one of the reasons why i would love to see this film being executed maybe it has um in today's society because now more than ever ever in my personal opinion the value of life or just the the way people see and understand perspective is not where it used to be <laughs> i think mentally yes but like when like well i guess that's wrong for me to say i, I don't personally know i don't know everybody in the entire world but for me personally it feels as though that people just go right to a conclusion without understanding or without understanding what the, the the weight of that conclusion is you know it could be right there could be wrong and i'm not saying that you know there 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 is a right or there is a wrong but there could be both for all i know what i'm saying is that there is a sense of responsibility and understanding that you have as a human to understand what you're deciding on <laughs> and i sadly you know like i do feel as though with social media and technology you know in some ways it has lessened that it has weakened that understanding but in some cases it probably increased that so that's why you know i do take it back from what i said but um i would love to hear your thoughts on this this is a very incredible thinking piece that i would love to converse with y'all with you know it's the reason why i communicate with you guys a lot i love hearing you guys opinions i love hearing you guys thoughts and i love hearing you guys um just process on how to you know how you guys reach a certain conclusion we do this all the time you know it's just you know we're not <laughs> we're not in a jury so yeah i would love to hear what you guys thought about this brilliant film can't wait to watch this thing again multiple times in my future year so like always guys i love y'all stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time Pull back in the backseat